All right, guys. So I got to do this while I'm still pissed off. So the fucking 86 finally came. What, yesterday? You know, in, uh, I'm at work. My wife's at work. We can't just go pick it up, you know. I told him, look, not going to make it today. Maybe tomorrow. So today, me and the wife decided to head up there and pick up the 86. You know, it's an hour and a half drive from my house. So it's not, you know, just around the fucking corner. I'm sorry, this this video, if you're just looking for video, this ain't the video. This is me ranting, okay? I'm not putting any fancy shit. Uh, I'm not in a good mood. So we drive up there. The guy that I had been dealing with, which I don't even know what his fucking name is. He never introduced himself. Um, he was not going to be there today, but he said his desk, his desk mate or whatever you want to call it would be ready and willing, you know? And I explained to them far in advance, look, my wife hates car dealerships, have everything done. I mean, I send them all the info, the everything's ready to be signed. It's supposed to be. So we get up there. I'm supposed to find a guy named Alex. I told him an hour in advance, look, I'm going to be there in an hour. Have everything ready. Yes, sir. We're ready now. You know, I get up there. We go in the doors. There's five or six salespeople standing there. Nobody says hello. Nobody greets us. I'm looking. I go just pick a guy that looks like an Alex. And I say, hi, I'm looking for Alex. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you need him for? Okay. To, you know, come on, just where's Alex at? So they take us to his desk, sit us down. <sighs> you know, at this point, it's not a big deal yet. After about 20 minutes of sitting at Alex's desk, nobody else has came to talk to us. The guy that I initially talked to comes back and says, yeah, Alex is out there with a customer right now. Okay, so I explained to the guy, look, Alex is supposed to be ready. I'm, you know, I'm not happy right now. Okay, uh, can I get you some water? Okay, whatever, dude. He leaves. Good 10 minutes go by. Alex, nowhere to be seen. So I seen the 86 in the little Toyota Bay ready to be picked up, you know? So I tell my wife, I'm like, let's go look at this, you know, let's go look at it. You know, since Alex is nowhere to fucking be found. We walk right into the bay. There's a Supra that's been sold. There's a Camry. There's my 86. So I'm, you know, I'm still not happy at this point. So I don't even have video. I don't even have a video of the fucking car that I pre-ordered. Because I was mad. The car has road debris on the fender. The front left fender. The rear left fender, I didn't even made it to the right side of it. They told me yesterday it was cleaned and ready to go. So I don't understand where black road ended up on the fucking white car. And they, it was on top of the trunk too. I don't even know how it gets there. The floor mats are dirty. Yeah, I'm like, we're in the car for probably 10 minutes at least. There's offices around it. Nobody ever comes to talk to us. You know, at this point, it's, you know, we're pushing 30, 40 minutes. You know, my wife, she's not happy. I'm pissed off. No Alex in sight. So I look at my wife. I said, you want to go? She said, yeah, if you do. And I decided at that point, it was about principle. I don't give a fuck who you are. You have to treat the customer like they're your number one customer at that time. I'm not asking for much. I'm asking that you are ready when I get there. That was it. I didn't have some highfalutin request. Okay. Alex, if he's selling the car for Mo, just screwed Mo. So we leave. Good 20 minutes go by. Finally get a text. Hey, this is Alex. Sorry. Uh, I was helping another customer out. We're really short-staffed right now. So 
I had to help them. No, dude, don't tell me you're short-staffed. You got five people in here doing nothing. Uh, I'm so frustrated right now. So here we are, 2020 STI. It's got 200 more miles on it now. I'm not buying that 86. If you guys want it, go watch the old video. It'll be available as soon as they finally figure out that I'm not buying it from them. I want it by a turd from them. Well, that doesn't make sense. It's about principle. And I, you know, I'm starting to see why my wife hates car dealerships. I'll, I'll sit in my STI. I don't give a shit. Is the 86 a good car? Sure. Is the best car ever? No. It's not. You know, at the end of the day, it's a $33,000 two-wheel drive sports car that you can't drive in the winter. And I don't want to buy it from those people. And that is the story of when I walked away from my GR86. You might think I'm crazy. But at the at the very mo at the very least I have principles. This might be the end of the YouTube channel cuz nobody watches anything but my GR86 videos. And that's okay. I mean I I don't want to just cater, you know, once the 86 is more prevalent and around, it doesn't really matter. The next hot thing, when the GR Corolla comes out, you know, unless you go buy one, you're not going to get views. So, it's been good, y'all. I hope you guys uh, enjoy your 86s. Or whatever else cars you like to drive and enjoy. Um, that's about it. You can spam me in the comments if you want to. Have a good night.